So welcome to the Zybid Pro demonstration. Uh, first off, thank you all for joining us uh, at 11 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, we appreciate the time that you take out to uh, see an exciting new uh, technology uh, device called Zybid Pro. Uh, and today we are going to just basically do that. We are going to show you a little bit about what makes our platform different from a lot of the platforms that are out there. Uh, we believe that we have some really exciting tools, some really exciting methodologies, and psychologically, uh, we've put a lot of time and effort into our platform to help you present better. So first things first though, we wanna teach you a little bit about how to use our platform. And the first thing is, we'd like you, if you're watching on a laptop or a, uh, um, a, a computer, to simply press F11. And what that will do is it'll take the screen to a full screen mode. And the reason we do that is, is twofold. First off, it makes it a little more like a TV experience, right? Uh, and secondly, it makes it a little more difficult for you to jump over to your email or any other project that you might be working on, and I have your full attention. So um, secondly, though, down in the bottom right-hand corner is where you can interact with me, and that's what we call our Action Center. If you simply click there now, uh, an, a window will elegantly slide out, and you'll see at the bottom there Q&A, technical support, and some downloadable documents that we have available for you. But uh, this is how you can interact with me. And I, I urge you to ask me questions. I'll try to take them if I have some time during the program, but I will get to all of them uh, by the end of the program. So um, essentially, if you want to close that back up, you simply press the X in the upper left-hand corner of that window, and it will rescind back into its, its hiding place. And then last but not least, if you have any problems, any technical difficulties with regards to your internet connection, you lose connection or what have you, simply hit F5. That will refresh the screen. It'll get you back uh, with us again. It'll, it'll bring you to the right slides, all that stuff. So that's about it. You now are experts at using our Zyvid platform. So today, um, you're going to see Zyvid Pro. And if you'll notice, what we just did there is, is we showed our ability to use tra slide transitions uh, with PowerPoint. I'm going to do that again because it's really cool. Uh, if you go back and I just click the button, wow, that's neat. Anyway, um, we have the ability to retain all of the PowerPoint transitions that people create as they create their documents. But today, what we're going to do is we are going to show you a little bit of what we do. Uh, we're going we're gonna to talk a little bit about what makes us unique. Uh, we're going to go through uh, our engagement tools, and we'll give you a little peek of our console. It should take about 20 minutes, honestly. Uh, I'm going to try and really cook through this because I know keeping people's attention is really difficult, but that's what we do. So first things, um, we help you present better. That's basically our mantra. If you look at Zyvid Pro, we help you present better. We believe we are a once-in-a-generation disruptor. Um, we've studied the science and art behind developing a good presentation. Before we, we, uh, we developed any code whatsoever, um, we thought about this and we did research, and we're going to talk a little bit about that today. Um, there's a lot of cognitive studies out there that, that, that delve into the psychology of what people find attractive and why you look at one website and go, wow, that's a really cool website, and you look at another and you go, man, eh, it just kind of looks old, right? So those types of, of subtleties we'll be investigating a little bit today. Um, our lead technologist says it this way. He says, we challenge the status quo in everything we do. Our design and development team constantly seeks to improve the user experience. That's Tim Patch. Um, he says also that if he developed cars, the cars would be the coolest and uh, uh, the nastiest cars out there. Anyway, um, give you a little quote from some of our uh, clients. We've got uh, Amazon here, who actually we did a demonstration for a while back, and this was their response during the presentation. Um, I don't think they, they knew we were watching this, but. Uh, one of them was saying, my mind is being blown right now on the CPE certification part. We're not going to delve into that, but we also do CPE certification. That's what they were interested in. Um, another uh, individual said, yes, it's beautiful. I'd give my whole salary to use this. So we always get feed like, feedback like that at the end of our presentation. And getting feedback from someone like Amazon, one of the largest companies on the planet, that was a pretty cool pat on the back. Um, anyway, why are we different? Well, it's three things. Look and feel, as you've already noticed, it's a very type, 
uh, uh, um, uh, interactive, it looks sexy, if I'll use that word, um, uh, the look and feel of our platform where we move things around, that is a big feature. The second, what we're going to talk about is the engagement and the ROI. Uh, that is something that is unique to the Zyvid Pro platform, and we have tools that engage the audience and, and keep them watching. And then last but not least, we know how to put on an event. All of our background, uh, the people that work here have a background in production. We understand what it means to put on a show. You get one chance to make a first impression, and the amount of time that people put into their PowerPoint decks and what have you, really, really important. So, um, little technology spin here. Uh, we're compatible, we're, we're hosted in the cloud. Uh, we use Akamai to distribute all of our video, Microsoft Azure to run all of our data. Uh, we're an enterprise 2.0 platform. A lot of our competitors have been kind of working with a lot of the, their older technology. We are later development, enterprise 2.0. We're all in the cloud. We can scale. Uh, we have the ability to do that. And that helps us be SOC 1, 2, and 3 compliant. Um, we are fully redundant. Every single stream that we do has dual streams. In fact, we send one stream to the cloud in, uh, uh, through cellular towers, and we send another stream through the, uh, uh, the wired connection at any location. The cool thing about that is, is if one of those connections goes down, the other picks up the load seamlessly for the, for the viewers. So if you're watching and something like that happens, you will never know it. Um, last but not least, we can take multiple acquisitions. We can do video uh, through a webcam. We can take teleconference, satellite, VCU, any type of, of methodologies we can ingest into our platform and create a presentation. Um, we're browser-based, which means essentially there's no downloads. There's no uh, uh, applets that you have to download. If you're Apple iPhone or Android, we're compatible with all of these environments because we're written in HTML5. And HTML5 is compatible with all of the browsers out there. And if you have a browser, you can watch Zyvid Pro. Uh, in fact, also the, the controller, the thing that I'm working right now, is all HTML5 as well. I don't need to download anything. I mentioned production value. Um, we own all of our own equipment. We can go out on site and do a lot of the, the uh, presentations from the location. Obviously, because of COVID, we haven't had much uh, uh, call for that lately. Uh, but that is one of the big benefits of us is that if you have a large presentation and something that's really important, we can go out on site. We can work with you. Our technicians and our, our producers will go and help the, uh, make the event a success. Um, we've done this worldwide. We've been overseas, Asia. Brazil, you name it. Uh, set design and production is also uh, within our expertise. We've helped build sets and put together large scale uh, programs for our clients. So we talked a little bit about um, kind of the, the, the look and feel, if you will, about moving things around the screen. You've already seen that. You're watching some videos and things. Um, really what we tried to do when I, when I was talking about the psychology of presenting is we investigated what were people doing? And one of the, uh, the companies that are out there, a pretty large one called the NFL, um, implemented this in 2019. And they said, um, they're going to institute some split screen commercial breaks with the camera tuned to what's going on in the stadium. And if you see an example here, you've got Visa, who is basically advertising around a split screen view of video, which is essentially the game, right? Here's another example of Volkswagen uh, displaying an ad while we're still watching the game. You got the score down below, that kind of thing. But they figured out, this is how you engage clients. This is how you engage viewers. We're doing the exact same thing here with, with Zyvid Pro. In fact, we kind of feel they took it from us. Anyway, um, here's an example of Wolf Blitzer uh, showing in CNN. Again, very engaging. One of our individuals that works here used to work for Fox News, and he says, if, uh, if we didn't change the screen in some way, every 13 seconds, our producers would yell at us. They know something. They know something about keeping viewers engaged. And we're taking a page from their book in our, in our platform. So we have a virtual studio package also. So we've talked a little bit about moving things around the screen. We've talked a little bit about how we can engage people. Another way we can engage is by bringing uh, external content and external speakers into the program. And we're going to actually do that right now. So uh, we have two of our clients uh, that are on, on screen here. And we're going to cut over to them. Uh, we have Jim McDonald, who is the president of Diventive, an audiovisual and staging company. And we have uh, William Taylor, who is the president of Pharmethod, a pharmaceutical marketing company. So um, gentlemen, thank you first off for, for joining me today. Um, and I just wanted to ask you a little question. And again, not to, not to be too pitchy, if you will, but 
Tell us a little bit about how Zyvid Pro maybe <coughs> helped you uh, through the pandemic. Jim, maybe you can answer this first uh, in 2020. Maybe you, can, maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. Sure, Dave, be happy. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for having me today. Uh, obviously, when the pandemic hit, we're in the live meetings and events space. When the pandemic hit, everything just stopped and shut down. And our clients, but our clients still had a need to communicate with their, with their employees, their customers, their shareholders, um, their users. So um, they were being inundated with options for um, virtual meetings, for web broadcasting. And what we were able to offer through, through Zyvid was something that really was a differentiator for us and for them. Because of the engagement tools, um, it was very exciting for them to be able to offer something new and different um, and interesting to their audiences. Um, and, and for us, because of the power of the engagement tools, we were do, able to do like value added services based upon our production experience, which is beneficial for us and for them. Um, and, and going forward, what's I think really interesting and exciting for us is that hopefully as things start to turn back some towards live events and hybrid events in particular, um, us having the, the the Zyvid platform to offer is going to enable us to provide an experience for the for the hybrid events that are very similar, whether you're in the room or you're not in the room, which I think is going to be just like a great a great um, service for us to provide to our clients. Great, and uh, hey, congratulations too for keeping your business open um, during the pandemic. I know there is a tremendous amount of AV and staging. I mean, the whole event industry took a, a pretty large hit. So, um, yeah. you know, hats off to you for, for keeping your people employed and keeping the business running through this time by, by bobbing and weaving and changing. And, it, and we're, we're proud to help you along and, and be a part of that. So, uh, it's great. Yeah. Thanks, Steve. It was, it was, it, the platform was invaluable for us to achieve that. So, thanks. Great. That, that's good to hear. Bill, why don't you tell us a little bit about how you guys were, were uh, using the Zyvid Pro platform, too? Sure, Dave. Uh, good morning. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, so my, my business is a little bit different. Um, we run basically thousands of smaller um, educational meetings for the pharmaceutical and medical device industry. And also, you know, into March, my business went from thousands of meetings to zero uh, pretty quickly. Um, but mm. I think the, the power of, um, for us, the power of having a platform, not just to get our clients online, but to differentiate ourselves um, with every other provider out there that we actually had a tool that truly was different. Um, and especially in my market where content came, presentation value rules, um, it really was an invaluable tool, not just to use, but to separate ourselves from our competition. So we ended up going from, uh, you know, potential disaster to actually having a great year. Um, and we ran, a, you know, a hundred percent of, those types of engagements through Zyvid Pro. So it was, it was an absolute game changer for us um, and actually something that will provide a lot of value moving forward because as the world kind of comes back live, um, there's absolutely a huge value add for um, both using this platform as a standalone as well as I believe it's Jim. Jim, what Jim mentioned um, for hybrid meetings, that's absolutely going to be a part of our strategy moving yeah. forward for, for Zyvid Pro. Absolutely. Well, great gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy days to uh, uh, be a part of the, the program today, but um, you know, congratulations on your success and uh, let's move on with our presentation. Thank you both. So we're back on, um, and that was just kind of an example of bringing people in uh, and talking with them and kind of doing a, a, a stage design. But, but you'll notice how that worked, right? It was very TV-like, it was very professional. Um, they came in very seamlessly and our platform handled it beautifully. So um, again, another way that they have used that platform as a differentiator in their business. It's not just you know, using Zoom or using uh, 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 Google Hangouts or, or Adobe Connect or something like that. They are adding value for their customers by using our platform. Um, so how do we help you present better to, as well, additionally? Um, one of the things that we do is, is we really try to brand our platform to your specifications. Again, remember, we're all written in HTML5, so we have the ability to change our platform very easily. And this is an example. You see um, S&P Global. This is the uh, front page of their website, and we essentially took it, uh, the graphic from that, and we superimposed it on the background of our platform. 
again, bringing that branding to, to, to a presentation subtly does create that message. It's, it's very subtle, and, and if you notice, we kind of muted it too. It wasn't a big, you know, we didn't use the exact graphic, but you get the idea of, of branding the platform and making it, um, you know, the look and feel uh, uh, come through. Here's an example of a, a registration screen for TMX, uh, another one for Atlantic Street Capital. So you have the ability to do all these things and really get customized, right? <clears throat> Our Delix, uh, this was their registration page, and then it kind of flowed into the actual presentation here, right? So you have the presentation that actually uses that same graphic in the background, creating con uh, continuity and, and really pushing forward that brand message. Um, here's PricewaterhouseCoopers using it. Um, we've got a, a background for, for a slide uh, uh, that they designed themselves. We put that into the background of the, the image, and their slides matched it. Um, this is another example of having a background where people were talking, and we used that background in our platform. So if you see their stage had those checkerboards in it, we actually added those checkerboards to the platform as well. Um, here's McDonald's using a different uh, uh, methodology in terms of their slide on the right-hand side. Uh, and that's you know, just a few examples of how our platform can be more engaging. Again, that tool of engagement is really important. I'll, I'll stop here just for a second. We're going to talk about engagement tools. Let's see, I'm, I'm running close to my limit here. i got another five or ten minutes. Um, so we're going to get into the engagement tools right now and show you a little bit about them. We've got a lot of these engagement tools. We've got biography, social media, word cloud, gaming, ticker, pulse, polling, content, uh, content panel, and we're going to touch upon all of these. The first being uh, the biography, and this, this is essentially a, a kind of an elegant way to present your speaker. Um, again, it's interactive, and we're going to talk a little bit about how all of this stuff works in just a second, but you'll see from my left, your right, um, my biography slides out. You can interact with it by downloading my full bio, that you could have a video in there. Again, all of these things could be interactive for, for your audience to participate in. Ways to get them to engage, right? The ticker is another function that almost all of our clients use. It goes across the bottom. You've all seen it on CNN with the ticker tape that comes across. Well, but this is a ticker that allows you, the client, to give messages to your audience during the program. Um, they make use of this with multiple languages. Um, if I forget to, as a presenter, to say a particular phone number or a website, during the program, you can use the ticker to show that information. You can even put links in there. You can boldface things. It's a very powerful tool to subtly give information to the audience while I'm speaking. And it doesn't really take away from my message, right? We also can integrate social media. And on the right here, we've used an external company. And again, we brought these external companies into our platform called Wall.io. And essentially, this shows all of our LinkedIn, our Twitter, our social media feeds that are in the, in the market today. And you can show this and have people interact while they're watching the program. So I've kind of messed up the screen here, and I really wouldn't do this in a, in a normal, or I wouldn't have a customer do this in a normal presentation. But I did this to kind of show you the effect of what we call our content areas. And this is really the heart of our engagement platform and how we can engage with our clients. These parts of the screen that you're looking at right now are actually multiple HTML web pages. Um, I've colored them uh, so that you can identify them. On the right there, you've got my bio, which is in red. That is a web page. It could be any color, any text, any image, any video you'd want. Down below, the ticker is actually another web page. That can be any color, it could be anything you want. We just so happen to put a ticker in there. On the right, we've loaded an external website, which is Wall.io, that shows all the social media. And then in the center, our actual presentation is another HTML page that gets called upon to show my video and slides. Again, understand the power behind this. I can bring in websites from anywhere on the web to display any type of content I want. You're gonna see some examples of that. So let's, um, let's clean up the screen. And what we're going to do now is, you, for, for, for the first part here, you, you've been kind of watching. And what we call those is our passive engagement tools. It's where you can sit back, you put your feet up on the desk, and you just watch the program like a television show, right? Now we're going to show you a little bit about the interactive engagement tools. And the first one is Pulse. It's down at the bottom right-hand corner. And if you click on the, uh, the heart, it will show, uh, it'll reveal a small window that has a like button in it. Now, that could be like and dislike, but because I only like people that like, 
uh, I've only put that button in there. But what it does is it marks in time your response so that I can go back and say, wow, while I was talking about Pulse, they liked it, right? Um, so again, this is another way for you to go and look at your presentation, fine tune it, and really get the feedback of the audience as to what they liked, disliked, approved, agreed, whatever you want to put in that particular box. You will have a marking in time and you can show that graph after the fact. Word cloud, ah, this is pretty cool. So a lot of you participated in this right out of the gate. Um, and I'll show you just a quick display of a word cloud that we use sometimes. It's what is your impression of the Zyvid Pro platform? But if you haven't been in, uh, instituted into word clouds, essentially the way it works is you take a word or you ask your audience for a word and the more words that are identical, the bigger the word is. So in this case, it would be imaginative. A lot of people put that word in there. Um, elegant, creative, uh, and as these things get smaller, that means less people put those words in, right? Um, so a pretty cool way for you to poll your audience and get them to interact and then give them the response in a very unique manner other than just a poll or something that they showed or you know, some percentage or what have you. Just a different way to get people to, to uh, interact. So let's hide those results. Um, I don't know, do we actually have we the show, display? Can we show, show that one? Yeah, so let's show the results of our, of our initial one. Ah, look at that. So we've got Philadelphia being another one. We've got Boston, uh, Ridgewood, Atlanta. So a lot of Philly people here. That's cool. Uh, Holland, PA. Holland, I was actually born in Holland, PA. Fantastic. Look at that. Uh, so you get the idea. Uh, we've got about 30 people on, 20 or 30 people. Uh, it's great. So let's hide those results. Um, so you get the idea, right? These are more engaging type tools where you, the audience member, actually have to respond. So um, let's show a poll here. We obviously have polling. Um, quick one, do you uh, multitask while attending a meeting online? Ah, they slipped this one in here. So let's hope you're not doing that during my presentation. But when you answer these polls, I can see the responses coming in. I can talk to them and I can show those types of results uh, in, the, in, in a following slide or something like that. Uh, but a nice way, and if you notice too, um, it opened up on the side, right? I don't have to open this up right out of the gate in front of me and I can put this on the side, I can put it across the bottom, I can put it across the top. I can actually even put it in the display window where the slide is. And you're gonna see an example of that in just a moment. Uh, so let's see, I've got some, uh, let's close the polls and I can show some of these results real quick. So I said, yes, I'm guilty. Uh, not, it doesn't look like everybody responded, but yeah, yeah, I'm guilty. My mind does tend to wander. No, I'm 100% focused. Sometimes, depends on the kind. Pretty cool, I probably chopped off a, a few responses there, but it looks like you guys all responded. I appreciate that. All right, let's close that and we'll move on. We, oh, by the way, we do have the ability for another poll. I'm not gonna show the results, but maybe we can bring this one up. Um, it's a cool way to do ranking, right? Um, this is neat if you're trying to rank a particular event. You simply drag and drop the answers to the poll. So you can kind of rank, I think the one we have here is what are the following cities that are your favorite to least favorite, right? So once you put them in order, you simply hit submit. Um, and again, it's another way for you to interact with our platform other than just the old A, B, C, D, give us your answer, that kind of thing, right? So let's close that poll and we'll move on. So polling, ah, gamification, this is really cool. So um, let's do this one. Now the way this works um, is it can work on individuals or you can have it work with groups. So if you had a, a sales team, north, south, east, and west, you could have them compete together, or you could have everyone individually compete, which is what we're gonna do right now. Now, the way this works is very similar to polling. However, you have to get the right answer, and you have to get it in the least amount of time. All right, so um, basically, when I bring this up, you're gonna read the question, or I'll read the question for you. You answer and click submit in the shortest amount of time, and you will get the most points. And remember, you gotta get the right answer. So let's open the quiz. So we have 30 seconds. What was Tom Hanks's friend Wilson in the movie Castaway? All right, so you can take a long look at it, and if you click on it and then click Submit, you'll see what's what. All right, cool. Looks like some people are participating. Look at that. Okay, we have some people that are coming in. I'm gonna give it a couple more seconds here. Oh boy, all right. So we take the top five answers and let's, uh, so let's uh, display, give it a second or two, but let's display the answers now. 
So it looks like we have Rick in first place with 827 points. Um, we have James Grady, we have MP, <laughs> we have Zach, and we have Chris Wilkins. Awesome. Thank you very much, gentlemen and ladies. I don't know, we, I don't know MP, but uh, we've got everybody in line here. I'll, I'll explain this a little bit. The quiz results on the left are the answers to this particular question. The quiz standings on the right are uh, uh, the tabulation of all the questions. So let's do this. Let's see if we can knock Rick out of the lead. Now that you know how to play, um, let's ask one more question and see if we can move Rick out of the lead. Ready? Let's open that question. What does a cat, oh man, what does a caterpillar transform into? Wow, uh, you guys really asked this question. <laughs> All right, we got 30 seconds. I'm gonna take a quick sip of water. All right, so hopefully you know this one. Ah, looks like things moved around a little. Okay, so let's see, are we done that one? I think so. Let's, uh, so let's show the quiz standings right now. All right, it looks like Rick stayed in the lead because he answered very quickly. Nobody could knock him out. James is still in second place. But you can see on the left-hand side, it looks like Katie came out of nowhere and won this particular question. So that kind of puts her on the map, and she came in at fifth place there because her, her score previously put her there. So you can kind of get the idea. So as you go through the program, you can really keep your audience engaged if you ask these questions and create kind of a quiz environment and a competitive environment. Trust me, everybody wakes up when somebody says, hey, we're gonna play a game, right? All right, so let's close that and move on. We're almost done. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, so let's talk a little bit about bringing content in from around the world, right? So one of the cool features of our platform is, is we have the ability to take any area, as you saw before, and put content there. Well, right now what I'm going to show you is I can put content right into the slide area, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Google Maps, and it, it basically shows in the content area. You now see active Google Maps, and you you can interact with it, you can drag and drop, you can zoom in, you can change anything. So it is really Google Maps that you're playing around with right now. You have loaded it on your machine, however, I have invoked that, right? So you kind of see how the, the platform works. During the program, I can change how the user experience is going on. And honestly, we can do, we've, we've done programs up to 50, 60,000 people. All of this technology works for every single individual. Um, it's a really cool feature. So let's close this and we'll do one more here. Um, let's see, do we have the satellite one? Let's see, I click, uh, yeah, I think the satellite view of, of, uh, of where we're at. So this actually shows our building in Langhorne, Pennsylvania. Um, you can zoom in on it, you can see the air conditioners on the top of our building, uh, but you get the idea, right? So I can load content in any area of the screen that I want and it really does show uh, a, a cool feature of, of the product. So uh, let's close that down. And we're going to take it even a step further, all right? What we're going to do is, oh, actually, sorry. Uh, let me show this one to you first. So this one was just created last night, uh, and it's a breakout room. So if you want to use breakout rooms with our platform, not a problem. You can use Zoom. You can use uh, Google Hangouts. You can use any of these um, uh, that you want to. And if you'll notice at the top of the screen, we actually created this cube uh, on the fly last night, one of our guys did it and he said, hey, you want to throw it into the presentation? I said, yeah, sure. So this is the ability for us to add HTML5 enhancements to any part of the platform you want. Really powerful. So those of you out there that do creative and understand creativity and understand what I was talking about at the beginning of the presentation, you can really see the power of the platform and how you can create branding and awareness uh, with such a customizable tool. So let's close this. And let's get to that thing I was talking about that's really cool. This is uh, one of my favorite, and this is a 3D model of the uh, solar system. So what I did is I just took over your whole screen. If you hit F11, basically your whole screen right now is showing this particular view. Uh, you have the ability to move around it. 
you can interact with it. You can click on those numbers. It'll give you a description of what the sun is, what the moon is, you know, all the different planets in our solar system. It'll show you exactly what's going on, and you can scroll through those things uh, and, and take different angles. There's a 3D look at them. So you get the idea, right? It's a really powerful way of learning, and this is really what we believe the future of, of learning is going to be. Rather than basically didactically going through a, a PowerPoint deck, we want to make the, the, the users and the attendees have that engaged in experience. And this is how you do it. You, you can still hear my voice behind the screen, and I can tell you to do different things. I even have the ability to control this, right? Um, I can press on those different uh, uh, arrows, and you can follow along with me, but you still have the ability to be engaged. Let's show you one more example of this. I'm going to close this. So this is a really cool one. We just brought this one in, and this one might take a little bit longer to load on your computer, depending upon your internet connection. Give it just a second, and it'll load in, but it is really cool. This is a, uh, a representation, not a representation, actual photographs taken uh, from the, um, um, my goodness, I'm drawing a blank, the, the space station. Jeez, uh, anyway, the space station. I'm looking at it, and I'm amazed at it. I'm like, wow, that's really cool. Uh, the space station. So you can walk through the space station. You can see exactly what's going on simply by clicking on those little arrows down there. It'll take you on a tour. You can zoom in. You can scroll around. You can see exactly what's happening. Um, really a cool way and a powerful way to bring content to audiences. Now, I've shown you some kind of cool things, but the real effective stuff that some of our clients, our pharmaceutical clients have used it for is, you know, imagine a 3D view of some, a heart where they're trying to show how their drug efficacy on a particular, you know, damaged heart um, affects it or, or lungs or the brain or, you know, kidneys or something like that. You can now have a 3D interactive uh, experience through our platform with a presenter and your audience can interact with it. Really a cool way to learn. That is how you learn. We all remember back uh, you know, when, when we were being taught, those teachers that we really loved, those are the ones that really allowed us to interact and, and kind of engage, right? Um, those are the ones that, that got us involved and really, really allowed us to experience learning. So, okay, that's enough. Close it. And uh, let's move on to the last part of our platform, which is pretty much the back end. I'm about three minutes over. I took 30 minutes. I apologize. I hope everyone's there. And if you have any questions, we've got a few questions here. Uh, please ask the questions. Um, event creation. So very easy to create an event. We've got templates. You simply click two clicks. You're, you're rocking and rolling. Or you can go even deeper. You can customize all of it. You can add your own HTML. You can add web pages, websites, all of that stuff. We have the ability to be very simplistic or extremely complex. So what I'm looking at right now is very simplistic. Um, what you want is a lot of the presenters to be, very, it, it, to be very easy. So when I log in, this is what I see. I see essentially slides with two controls on either side, previous slide, next slide. And if I want to see my questions, I simply click some of the buttons down below. I can look at the Q&A for the moderator. I can publish my webcam. I can look at a, 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 an overview of the slides if I wish. Uh, and I can take a look at presenter mode for uh, notes if I have notes along with my, my slides, right? And that's it. Very simplistic, very clean, very easy. Our Q&A submissions, so the questions that you, you submitted uh, through our platform, they show up as follows. You already saw the, the, the screen slide out there. Um, but what we see is questions on the screen, and I can have people approve those, deny them, so that what I see, like right now, I'm only seeing all the green questions on the screen uh, as to what goes on. Um, but it's very elegant. We keep an eye on it. And we look at it. We can run reports on it after the fact. You can see all the information there. Um, same thing with technical support. Works very much the same way. If you ask a question in technical support, our technical people will essentially take a look at this. This was a, a program, I think, that was you know, 11 or 12,000 people. Um, all the greens means that we, we took care of all of those people that had issues, uh, and we, we basically resolved them. Video editing. So post-production, our platform allows you to edit all of the, the content that you created. What's really cool is all of the engagement tools are active in the recording. So if you add, you know, if you're watching a recorded event and you type in another word for the word cloud, it gets added to the word cloud. If you answer another poll, it gets added to the statistics of that poll. If you, you know, uh, participate in gamification, you could hypothetically be the winner, right? So all of that stuff happens and, and still exists or not. You can go in and edit that. You can move slides around. You can move 
uh, uh, the changing of the windows. However you want, we have full customization after the fact. Obviously, we have oodles of reports. They're all real time. You can run them during the program, after the program, ad nauseum, download them to Excel, all that stuff. And then last thing here I want to talk about is our engagement score. And then I'll answer some questions and we're pretty much done, right? Um, so the first question, or, uh, actually the first point here I want to make with regards to our engagement score is that you know, some of our competitors say they have engagement scores and they, they measure how engaged the clients are. Well, we really do that job and I'll tell you why. Um, we obviously monitor whether you click on the pulse or whether you participate in social media or whether you answer a poll or play gamification, all that stuff. But we also keep an eye on whether you're watching our program. So if you leave our program, which means you basically put us into the background of your computer and you go and you look at your email or you look at another application, we measure the time that you've left our program. Now granted, we know that you're listening to it in the background and honestly, we don't know where you went, if you will, on your computer, but we know how long you've been away. And the cool thing about that is it reflects negatively on your engagement score. So you absolutely know when people left, when they came back. So if they left during the legal you know, mumbo jumbo that you had to say at the beginning of your program, but they came back two minutes later, you know why, right? So all of this combined will create an engagement score for the user, and that combined can create an engagement score for the meeting. And it allows you to present better. That's really what we're trying to do here. So all of these tools and all of these things that you've seen really allow you to present better. And that's it. So let's answer some questions here. We've got a few. Um, let's see. First one is, when we return to an office environment, do you have any solutions for peer-to-peer -peer sharing? Oh, that's a great question. So since everybody's in their you know, houses and that kind of thing, and they're, they're, they're watching these programs remotely, um, the peer-to-peer -peer issue that some of the large corporations have had when they're in a building um, hasn't been an issue, right? Because everybody's at home. But when you come back and everybody's in a building and you have 1,000 people, you can really hit the internet uh, hard with those thousand people if they're all pulling down the video. We are compatible with a product called Hive and we have the ability to basically do peer-to-peer -peer sharing inside large buildings and large, cor uh, large corporate environments. Um, is the fully managed software and, ser uh, and service offering? Uh, do you have a SaaS model? Yes, we do. We have a SaaS model where you can actually use the product. You pay a monthly fee and essentially you can go and create as many programs as you want and use our product ad nauseum. That's a great question. Um, let's see, uh, can attendees be pre-registered for breakouts? Uh, yes, can we pass their information into the breakout rooms? Yes, I believe we can. So that, that's basically where you say, hey, I want to let these individuals in and they go into the breakout rooms. Um, let's see, Dave, who could I speak with about a possible partnership between Zyvid and our company. Uh, that would be me. <laughs> so sure, I actually do a lot of that. That's why I do these presentations. Uh, I'm very actively involved in our, our, our product and our customers. So please reach out. Um, we, could do, uh, we could do great things together, I'm sure. Um, let's see, anything else? Uh, what do you see looking forward into the near future with regard to live person? Oh yeah, so, so this is a big deal, right? I think hybrid is going to be, in fact, I even heard it from the, our two guests. The hybrid meetings is where I think the differentiation is going to lie. Um, we've got a lot of, of uh, input. In fact, you know, talking with Jim McDonald, the guest we had there, he said a lot of his clients are saying, look, we realize people aren't going to all come flooding back to live events, right? Um, the thousand person event is probably going to be 250 people now. But those 750 people that didn't show are still going to want to see and look and participate in the meeting. And I think that's where Zyvid Pro can really help. So if you're running a live meeting, you can run Zyvid Pro right alongside of it, and you can still interact and engage the people that didn't attend the meeting. Uh, I think that's the future. I think what's going to happen is you'll see a lot of that. I don't think um, uh, webcasting and this whole concept of remote learning and remote uh, 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 people, uh, you know, remote work is going away. Um, I think it's going to stick around. I think you're going to see a pop where everybody wants to get back to live meetings real quick but I think it's gonna level back down again and you're gonna see a lot more integration uh, with some of the digital products, so uh, pretty cool. Uh, great, so I think that's most of the questions we have. I appreciate everyone's time today. I realize that I went a little long, but uh, I appreciate your time and hopefully you can reach out to us. We can help you plan your next event um, and hopefully you've seen something a little bit different today. That's really what we're going for and hopefully we can help you present.